so now if you are in 3d let's say suppose you are working in 3d and you have to do a line integration okay which we will deal later so in 3d so for line integration in the same cartesian coordinate system uh, line integration to any arbitrary line any arbitrary line you will use that your dl vector is nothing but that is dr vector so that is change in dlx vector plus dly vector plus dlz vector and this is nothing but your <clears throat> dxi cap plus dyj cap plus dz k cap so you usually write that dr vector is this but the theory behind this is this that is the general coordinate system so now let us write the surface element of Cartesian coordinate system. So the next topic which we are going to deal is your surface element. So I am doing few, rest you can do. So for surface element, what this will represent? ds vector xy. So this will represent surface element in xy plane or it may be parallel to xy plane so remember that ds vector of u1 u2 was given by mod of uh, that is h1 du1 h1 h2 du1 cross du2 mod and its direction was its normal to this so this will be mod of ds vector xy and the surface that is perpendicular to n. So this is going to be, uh, you can write it as dlx vector cross dly vector because h1, h2 are 1 and your n cap is nothing but, okay, we will deal it later, n cap. So your dlx is dx i cap cross dlj, sorry, y i j cap. Let me write it as j cap n cap. So this is your dx dy n cap because your modulus will take care of the direction. Similarly, you can write ds vector of y comma z. So it will be dx dy n cap. Similarly, ds z and x, you will write dx dz of n cap. So depending upon what the surface you are choosing, your n cap will be here in case of x and y, it will be either plus k or it will be minus, sorry, it will be either plus j, sorry, i, j, k, I was right, sorry. Either it will be <coughs> plus k or minus k cap. Because what surface you are choosing or what element you are choosing that also defines the direction. So here similarly it will be i cap or minus i cap. Here similarly it will be uh, i j cap. Sorry, this will be j cap or minus j cap. So depending upon the situations. So how does depend on the situation? Let us see also that. So here is one question. Let us do a small problem on this surface element. So suppose uh, I have a coordinate system mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let me interrupt and enlarge it okay so this is my coordinate system let's call it as x and y let me draw a surface which contains some area so i, I am doing for x and y and we will put the question for this direction so <clears throat> sorry i have a cuff mm. okay so yes. so the diagram is still not very straightforward so let me call this as x this as y let me call this coordinate as a comma zero this is the origin this coordinate is your zero comma b and this is your surface basically let me use another some light color 
So basically this is your surface. So this surface is an xy plane. So the first thing is your this surface surface is an xy plane. First thing. So and the second thing is I wish to define an open surface. So let me first define open surface what definition it have so that it can you can use it everywhere. So open surface is something that uh, have some that does not include any volume okay if some surface that like uh, you take a ball you take a your cricket ball so that surface has some certain volume so that is an closed surface an open surface like a paper so you don't have a volume but you have a surface so that is like an open surface. So closed surface, closed volume, but open surface does not have any volume. So that is a basic definition of open and closed surface. So every open surface is bounded by a curve, is bounded uh, by some closed curve. and the direction element is decided by the direction of curve the direction of curve so for every open surface is so for every open surface that is bounded by some closed curve and the direction element is given by the direction of the curve. So if I write the surface element ds vector is your dx dy n cap. So this n cap will defend, depend on the direction of the curve. So if I say that let's say the direction which we are going to deal is this way. O to A, A to B, B to then we go to C and then C to we again come to O. So we are choosing this direction. If you curl your fingers in this direction, so you just curl your fingers in this direction. Okay, so this is let's say a curling of your fingers. So then the thumb will be your in upward direction. So this is my, my drawing is very bad. So if this is your hand and you curl your fingers in this way so this is your thumb basically that is coming your upward so and this is an if in terms of mathematics this is an anti clockwise direction so this will be considered as k cap because if i rotate if i curl my finger in this way my thumb comes in xy that is your k cap direction so this will be basically dx dy k cap if I reverse the direction, if I say my curve, I am starting from O, going to C, then going to B, then going to B to A, then I am going to again O. So this curve was O to, sorry, O to A, A to B, B to C, C to again O. If I have another curve that is going to O to C, C to B, B to A and A to O, so it will have dx dy of minus k cap because this this direction is clockwise direction so we will take as negative so this will be minus k cap so if the curve is in anti-clockwise direction then the surface element will be along positive z axis that is in the case and if the curve is in clockwise direction then the surface element will be along the uh, negative z direction that we just followed by here so that was a, a problem how do you deal with these types of surfaces directions and now uh, let us do for your volume element so now the third topic for till now that is volume element because we have derived only these things in general so your volume element your dv sorry I, this is a scalar quantity so dv will be become your h1 h2 h3 d of your u1 u2 u3 so this will be become 
1 into 1 into 1. This is dx dy dz. You can define this volume element in another vectorial form that is dlx dot dly dot sorry cross dlz because this is a volume of an uh, three vectors that is if I have vector dlx dly dlz then the volume of the system is given by the curl of two and take the dot product of that so that is also a volume element you can also define this way so this will be become dx dy dz uh, so we have defined the direction of the surface element for an close sorry for an open surface where there was no volume enclosed by the element so now let us take a case for a, a cube so take a cube that is bounded by Q bounded by the planes and the equation of the planes are x is equal to 0 x is equal to a that's the first and the second y is equal to 0 y is equal to let's say a z is equal to 0 and z is equal to a so let me draw it here quickly uh, so this is my cube I am defining now the axis so let me call uh, this as origin this direction as x direction, this direction as y direction, this direction as z direction. This is at point, let's call it as uh, x is equal to a, y is equal to a, it is here. This is z is equal to a. So this coordinate is 0, 0, a. Its coordinate is a, 0, 0. Its coordinate is 0, a, 0. Okay, so this is a basic q. Let me uh, write the names of this corner so that it will be clear to see. So let me call this as G. Let me come from here. A, B, C, D, E, F. That one is G. And this is your O. Okay. So first thing that is a closed. It has a closed surface because surface F A C because it encloses is enclosed volume so because of is enclosed volume so if i am on o g d c surface which is nothing but uh, this one o g d c surface if i am on this surface and i want to calculate the uh, end cap of that surface element so your end cap will be what the first question so the base the answer is that the vector that is coming outside outward to that volume so calculating surface element if you want to calculate the surface element along the curve this OGDC then the surface element will be in minus of J cap direction if you want to calculate the surface along along this then the vector that is coming outward to this plane is this so this will be K cap if you want to calculate the surface element along this, then the vector will be in this direction. This is J cap. If you wish to calculate the vector in front of, let's say, that is this one, this one, the front one, then the vector is that is coming outward to this plane. So that is your I cap direction. So depending upon the surface, you have to choose your N cap direction. So in case of closed surface, so let me write it here so that you can copy in your copy. So in case of closed surface, the normal outward to the volume will be the direction will be the direction of the surface element. of the surface element so uh, till now we have defined three things line element surface element and volume element and uh, we have did for this for cartesian coordinate system in next lecture we will be dealing cylindrical and spherical coordinate system and then we will define the basic the general gradient divergence and curl then we will define the gradient divergence and curl for 
every this Cartesian spherical polar coordinate system and then we will move further in vector algebra. So thank you.